All right, here we are out in the ice, and this video is going to be all about understanding what your fish finder is showing you in the water. So you'll notice that Mike's got a saw here, and I've got an auger, and we're going to drill out a line of holes covering the uh, cone angle of what our fish finder is showing us. Yep. Yeah, so right now we're in about 25 feet of water, and our cone reads out about 10 feet, about so 10 either feet. side 5 feet. So we're gonna cut like six feet out so we can show what a fish looks like when it's right underneath the cone all the way out to the end where it goes off the cone. So by cutting a line of holes, sawing in between, we can drag this little musky bait we got back and forth in the cone at the same level to show you actually what's happening on your depth finder. Whether you're using a traditional flasher or you're using an LCD, like the Helix 7 we've got here, the principle of this is going to be the same. The transducer is going to send out a ping and it's going to be represented in the shape of a cone. And anything that's in that cone is going to be a target that's sent back to the transducer. Now, the idea here is that the transducer is simply telling you how far away a target is from the transducer itself. So because this cone right now in 27 feet is 10 feet in diameter, Anything that's about five feet from the edge of the cone is gonna show up here, but it's going to be further away, obviously, than something that's right here. So picture the hypotenuse of a triangle. Yeah, so we got a bondy bait here, and simulating a fish, we're gonna drop it down right under the center of the cone. So that's gonna give us our strongest reading. So when a fish is right under the cone, it's gonna give you the strongest reading. We're gonna pull it all the way out to the edge of the cone at the same depth. So we're not gonna deviate from depth and it'll show on the graph what actually you see as the fish swims out of the cone. And it isn't what you think it's gonna be. The, the fish are gonna, it's gonna get a, a lesser signal, but then it's also gonna look like it's going downward. So a lot of people think the fish is coming down or swimming down to the bottom, when in reality, it's just hitting the edge of the cone and it's not getting as good of a signal, so. Yeah, well, we'll represent it here visually. Let's yep. get that baby down and we yeah. can show you. So now what Mike's gonna do is he's going to walk the bait away from us to the right. Now this could be, if this was a fish, it could be going in any direction, 360 degrees. But now watch this, the bait is staying at the same depth. Even now he's only about two feet away, you can see it looks as though the fish is starting to sink closer to the bottom or the target. All that is saying, all the step finder is telling you is that the target is further away from the transducer. It keeps going out, you can see that the bait will continue to fall. See how it looks like it's falling, it's falling, it's falling. The bait looks like it's falling and you're seeing the signal disappear as well. So now think about this. If you're fishing in this particular spot, you start to get a light, weak signal. It might look like it's somewhere off to the distance or you see that nervous bottom. That's the time when you wanna call a fish in because it could be five, six feet away from you. Now Mike, why don't you go ahead and bring it back. Now as he comes back, we should see the opposite here. We should see the bait start to rise as he gets closer. Here we go. You can see just the arc right now starting to rise. Boom, 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 boom. And it's gonna to continue to come up. So the bait has not changed depth. That's the idea here. The bait has stayed at the exact same depth, but it looks as though it's going up or down depending on which direction the target is, is in relation to the transducer. So now it's right underneath and it's basically the strongest signal we're gonna get. Mm -hmm. And that's another big thing that you want to interpret here is how strong is that return? So you can, so the target, see the signal is strong. Strong from the bottom to the top and going straight up. That's right. But when it's a weak signal down low and coming up, it's probably at the outside of the cone coming into the cone. Yep. So, at that level, so. Yep, know. so anytime you're, you're ice fishing, pay attention to what kind of return you're getting on your sonar unit, that's gonna give you an indication of how, not only how deep the fish is, but how far away it is. And know that just because you're getting a weak signal at a certain depth, chances are the fish is actually higher than you think he is. So don't necessarily drop your lure, because when that fish comes in, you might drop your lure to try to get to that depth. The and fish may come in right above, above you and you're fishing below the fish. Right, so hopefully knowing this information, knowing how to read what fish and your lure looks like on your Fish Finder is going to make you a better angler.